Okay, so I just wanted to let you guys know that we did not realize that I had hit the record button, so everything that happens in here is totally not planned, like, or we weren't, like, trying to entertain. This was just a normal conversation that we have. So I did cut some things out because sometimes we say things that shouldn't be said on the internet. So, uh, but for the most part, this is pretty much raw. Later on, we did find out that we were or I was recording, but that doesn't happen till quite a bit into the video. Nine one one. I wasn't ready for that. You gotta do real numbers if you're gonna count down, or else you're not gonna get the job anymore. You're just gonna keep on doing crappy numbers so you don't have to do it. <laughs> what? I know you. You're gonna make fun of you. You're mean. Oh my gosh, I just realized I hit the record button sometime. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. It's Sydney and... Lydia from Cydia. And right and right now we're doing some ra Cydia races and randomness. Whoa, we're actually going to film one? Can you believe it? We're not dead. Well, everybody knew I was alive, but they thought race, that Lydia... We're gonna ignore that. Oh, I already oh, I failed. Ah! I'm currently racing with one hand. The other one, I'm on my phone. I'm so good. I such good as I fail. I'm so good. How did that happen? You need to stop screaming because something with your mic, it like auto changes the volume. I think it might be in Skype, but like if you scream, then your mic gets really soft. So don't scream. Okay. She's so mean. She gets back from Thailand. She's just like a big fat bully. Uh, well, we can't hear you. <laughs> I went to Thailand and came back as the pun star. The punniest star. <gasps> oh my gosh, I just I just glitched that. I probably wasted a few seconds of my life, but that's okay. I'm sorry, but a horse could get that jump, like... That, like, one stride there. A horse could get it if it tried. It's the alchemy... Alchemy, law of quality and stuff. E equal exchange. You gain something, you lose something. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood for the win. Yay. What the heck are you talking about? Anime, anime, anime! <laughs> I'm tired! Okay, you're tired, I'm jet -lit. Oh yeah, because you've been in Thailand for yeah, ever. I don't know what a 12-hour freaking time difference. Thailand. What time is it? Where's my? Phone? It is 11:48. I was two minutes off. Where's my phone? There's my phone. Ah! That's a fence. Your failure. <laughs> Are you still recording? Oh my gosh, that's such a good idea. This person's so smart. What do you do? How do you warm up the horse's bit? Uh, I just hold my hand on it. Yeah, but that takes time, right? You could also dump it in a warm water bucket, but where are you going to get warm water? Exactly. And you're not going to buy a bit warmer. I mean, you could, but that's just kind of stupid. So this person from the team... Oh, you're going to do this? Yeah, I was, I was thinking you were just going to talk for a while. So. <laughs> well, you're nice. See, guys, <laughs> she's just mean. She's just mean. Love you. I don't know if I love you. No response. <laughs> Sorry. Focusing! Flippin' crackers. Oh crap, I missed the last one. Nailed one, it! Two. Where's my Y? Y with the lines? That's Y with the lines. Don't! No, actually, it's not copyright. Higher, we'll be Kill me now. 
a horse. What are you doing down there? Okay. So basically, this girl from the team, from my IEA team, or she, this is actually her last year. She used to be on the IEA team. She said, lately, because I'm too cheap to buy a bit warmer, I have been putting her horses, I'm not going to state anything, her, the bridle around her neck under all four, uh, four of her jackets, zips it up while she grooms him and tacks him up. And she said, it's slightly uncomfortable, but you know what? I don't care because it warms up a bit while making me cold. And then she said, 10 out of 10 recommended. But that's actually a great idea because recently I haven't been warming up the horses bits. Oops, sorry, don't tell mom. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. And so, like, this last time we were, not this last time, because last time I was out in the indoor, but the time before that, I held the bit in my hands for a little bit. But, like, you have to kind of hold it in the hand for a while to make it, like, warm. So, I'm going to do that next time. Just wrap, you just put it under your jackets and then it gets warm real fast. Yeah. Genius idea. Ta da! Question, did you fit your, uh, did you fit your bridle to Dora? Uh, I just had to adjust it a little bit, that's it. Does she use the same bit? Oh, yeah. She doesn't need a very strong bit. You can literally use your voice, and she will come to a complete halt. Oh, yeah, because you just had a metal, you just had a, uh, what did you have on there? Simple D-ring bit. That's it? Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Uh, the owner of Frog is the one with the corkscrew. Well, yeah, I know that, but... Let's see. Um, we use a... We use a D-ring, a simple D-ring on Crunch, and then we use a rubber snaffle on... Crunch also can use a rubber snaffle, but um, we use a rub rubber snaffle on Rob and Happy, and then Tyler. Go by, uses, go by has a rubber snaffle. I used to use that on uh, Topper, but the mouth guards hurt him, so we just started using my simple one. And then um, Tyler, he has like. I don't know what it's called, actually. It's like the corkscrew, but it's just like the corkscrew. It's the exact same, except it's not corkscrew on the bit. Hmm. So I don't know what that's called. And then Lucky has the, a corkscrew. The not corkscrew -inator. <laughs> The non innator <laughs> No. Have you seen that episode? Of Phineas mm, nope. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I have, actually. I realize all of my problems. I realize why I keep failing against you, Perry the Platypus. Is that what you guys watched in Thailand? No, I have thousands of years ago. Uh, I was so going to say. Years ago, whenever I actually watch TV and stuff. Now I just watch anime, anime, anime. And Arrow. And Gilmore Girls. But that's it. I watched Gilmore Girls, Once Upon a Time, Heartland, Marvel's Agents oh, of S.H.I.E.L.D. I watched Heartland ages ago. I literally am up to the ninth season. I bought it, and there's one more season that they, I think they just finished making ten. Of Heartland? Yeah. Wow. Oh, whoops. I'm sorry, not Heartland. It's Horseland. Horseland. Yeah, I watched that too, but I don't watch it anymore. Oops, I hit the wrong one. I don't know why I hit that one. Oh, we'll continue going on. So, um, I watch Heartland, which you should really watch. It's on Netflix, and there's, I think, seven seasons out on Netflix right now. But like, I the, would watch it, except I barely have, I barely even have time for anime or anything. Break, you have plenty of time, right? No, just lies. It's lies, guys. Because whenever I'm not doing school, I'm writing. Whenever I'm not writing or doing school, I'm do making videos and editing. Um, and then, uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What other TV shows do I watch? I think that's pretty much all I watch. Um, oh, and I watched This Is Us with my... Mom and sister. These are all like newer shows that you probably don't even know what they are. No. 
like Once Upon a Time and Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh, I've heard Once Upon a Time. Those are my fantasy shows. I like Grimm. Haven't seen that one. It's like the Grimm Brothers. It's really good. Oh, 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 oh. I thought you meant, like, the, I'm pretty sure there's a TV show called Grimm. Yeah. But you, are, you're you talking about, like, the Grimm fairy tales. Yeah. Well, yeah. no. The Grimm... It's the uh, Grimm freaking thing show, TV show. This guy is a Grimm, and he sh- hunts down the... Oh, so you got, you are talking about the TV show Grimm. Yes. <laughs> that was really hard for me to explain because I'm really tired right now. I thought you were jet lagged. I am. I haven't slept all day, so to me it feels like I pulled an all nighter. And I went and rode Dora bareback, and she was bumpy and excited and energetic, which is weird. She wasn't comfortable. Like she was at the trot, but then she kept speeding up, and so I'm like bouncing around. <laughs> We're supposed to have snow this weekend. Yeah. No, I love snow. As long as it comes and then goes away. For me, snow just gets in the way. I think. How does it get in the way? You're the one with the indoor arena. Yeah, but I still have to get there. And I walk, and the, um, the pathways don't get, like... At our in our neighborhood, it takes a day or two for the bulldozers to actually get here and actually do anything to help our roads. The and bulldozers. Right... Wait, wait, wait. The <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got it wrong. I'm tired. I'm sorry. It takes a wait, wait, wait. <laughs> they bulldoze away all the snow. <laughs> Shut up. I gotta try to make like a picture of what they would look like. I, like, said it, it didn't even register in my mind, too. <laughs> For the bulldozers. Look out, here comes the bulldozers, come and get the snow. <laughs> they don't come for a while. Uh, well, the the guys who remove the snow with the machine vehicle thing. The uh, plows? The truck plows? Yes, the tr- that's plow a plow. trucks? Those the, things? The plows. <laughs> bulldozers. <laughs> we just drill the snow away. <laughs> You, no, you know what? Like when I when I hear like when I hear of a bulldozer, I think of one of those things that has like a big giant ball hanging on the end of them. Like, oh my god, that's, that's a wrecking ball. Is it actually called a wrecking ball? Yes. Oh. Bulldozers are the thing with the with the drills on the end. Those machines with the drills on the end. That's oh, that See, look, I'm tired too. <laughs> Show me images of bulldozers. <laughs> I probably should have said bulldozer machines. <laughs> you just keep bulldozing off. Ah, <laughs> uh, depends. But, like, they don't come for the plowing guys. Oh, no, no, no! You're right, bulldozers do come. They're the plowy guys. <laughs> I was right, are you kidding me? <laughs> Please tell me you're recording. I am. <laughs> like, they don't come forever. And then we're all what are the machines with the drilly people. things? <laughs> what? Show the drilling things? Machines have drills on them. You're so stupid, Siri. <laughs> How does she even understand the, the drilly thing? Show <laughs> me the drilly thing. She's a robot. She should know all. Oh, I'm gonna make it. I will make it. You're not going to make it, but I will make it. I'm not going to make it. You're not going to make it, but I'm going to make it. You have little faith in me. Oh, go, 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 go. <laughs> Okay, I got it. Close enough. Hopefully, over this weekend, we get to bear back in the snow. But who knows with that. I'm just going to text my ride instructor and just be like, Yo, yo, ride instructor, can we bear back in the snow? She's going to be like, Yo, you pull it from black like few in a row. She's going to be like, 
Yeah, she wants to say yes. And then we'll do it, and then I'll have mom come and film because fun. It was recording. Oh, that's from, that reminds me. I recorded a video of me going to catch Dora. And that's always so much fun because she will <laughs> run and buck. She will run and buck if you try and touch her or get near her with the lead rope. So I literally pulled Topper tactics. And by Topper tactics, I mean Topper, he always ran away. And what I would do is I would drop the lead line, like, next to the fence or something. And it's harder, with, it would be harder with Topper because he never had his halter on. Then I'd go up to him and I'd grab his blanket or I'd grab his mane or something. And then he would, he would usually still run away because he just likes to play. But with Dora, I, dro I had to drop the lead line and walk up to her and grab her halter. And even then she's like, don't touch me. <laughs> Bucky, but I still sometimes... got some good running and bucking clips of Dora. Sometimes Lucky's just annoying. Oh, level six. Um, I'm gonna go to get my XP from the manor. Okay, and then we'll do our outro. But I'm um, call for pickup. No, I'm gonna take Charlie. It's gonna be faster. Okay, then I will do the same so that we can intro together. I mean, outro together. It's <laughs> what's intro. Um, but Lucky sometimes he'll be like a jerk and he'll run away. And if he does, then, like, I just, actually, they all do that at certain points. They're just like, nah, you can't catch me. So I just go, and I get the grain scoop, and I get some grain in it. This is what our writing instructor taught us to do. She's like, so we get it, and we get some grain in it, and we go to the gate, and we shake it. And then most of the time they start walking towards us, you dump it on the ground, you dump a little on the ground in front of you, you keep on shaking the container, they come and they eat it, and you whip that little leaf line around, or the little, the, uh, the, the rope, yeah, <laughs> you, you wrap it around their neck, and then you yank on that halter, you're like, nah, nah, you don't run away from me. <laughs> um, he he would run away sometimes, but now like even I went up to the gate and he just walked right up and was like, "Don't leave." He looked at me so mad whenever I went to get Dora. But what I noticed is that your barn too. You guys use like they call them grooming halters. They're just halters. No, but like the one they call them grooming halters, the ones with the clip that go like around their chin. Um, like most halters, they like hook at the ears, which are actually surprisingly really unsafe. My ride instructor has had many accounts from other people's horses that got their halter. They were just like the nylon typey kind, where it's just like all one co like it's like the colored material. It feels like that stuff like a keychain would be made out of or whatever. Yeah. And um, uh, you see them a lot in tax stores, but the horse like the ones that go around their ears basically um that hooks there basically and uh, a lot of them got like uh, she had a few cases where the horses got stuck on a branch or something and they like it wouldn't pull away so if we ever have this halters like currently rob has one but we have a leather piece on top because then it's a uh, pull away so that they can get out and there's no injury, hopefully. Oh, and I didn't tell you that the other day. Rob, he totally went up to the fence, and he went like this, and he got caught on the fence, and he pulled down, like, six boards. Like, wow. six whole sections. It was awesome. I'm like, wow, you're great. Okay, well, you know, enough rambling. I just thought I'd tell you all the life stories that you haven't heard, because, yeah, we're both really tired, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> the bulldozer. <laughs> You thought it was a wrecking ball. <laughs> Go in with the wrecking ball and whip the snow right off the road. I'm gonna... Hopefully not hit any of the houses. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to edit it. That, like, I show what I thought and then what happened. I'm going to ho hopefully try to edit it like that. But thank you guys all for watching. And I'm going to get rid of my user interface so we get a screenshot because, you know, I need one. So that we We're can. Be bucking. Okay, that works, but just so that I have a thumbnail. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, buck. <laughs> okay, hold on. Three, two, one, buck. Interesting. I need to get off. I mean, yeah. my mom's asleep because of jet lag, but. Yes, mommy, go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed, little mommy. Bye.